What's going on, y'all? MU7 here, and we are back with another video. Before we start, be sure to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, because on the road to 2K. I had to make this top seven deck prediction list since the new regional is happening in Houston at Game Guys. So I won't waste you guys' time. Let's go. First, we have Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Sparking Pratar Warrior. Now, this is literally one of the best black decks that has been out in a very long time. You guys know that. Because, of course, in the past, we had Xeno Gogeta. And we had Super Saiyan God Trunks. Mind you, Super Saiyan God Trunks is coming back with a new support card. I think in late June, early July. Right? But anyway, this deck is a tank. You have the Unison. Right? You can awaken on turn two. And by tapping one energy, the leader itself has his own sense of being. You can also choose one of your battle cards. Give us 5k. For example, y'all know that big old six... Six drop tank that's double strike in barrier that restands, right? Well, you could give them extra 5k. You try and go over their unison. Not only that, even if they get rid of the unison, they still have other cards that can rely on to add pressure to you. Mind you, they have the five drop counterplay SS4 Goku and SS4 Vegeta. Look, I don't know the rest of the title of the name, but the card is good. The deck is good. You need to be cautious. I can promise you that is a deck you will see at this upcoming regional. Mm -mm. We have Super Saiyan Son Goku, beginning of a legend. This is the most played green deck by far, right? Yes, we do have the green Gohan deck, and green Gohan is actually still really good. But the new Goku one do add some extra ingredients to the deck, right? Outside of the Bardock units, and you do have the A-Drop Goku that kills everything in Norm Barrier. It does make you draw. Not only that, you, the tap one four drops, the Krillin, the Piccolo, the Vegeta, they're here to aggro you at the exact time. Not only that, they can also rely on their uh, green extra cards. And you best believe they'll make you drop cards from hand because they tech in cards like Sal Kamehameha or Ray Brienne. Not only that, but the more they make you drop cards, the more pressure they will add on to you and your life throughout turn three to turn for. So you need to have a Mackie Bor uh, for that A drop. And Green Goku is just really good. They they, they they made it more powerful than Gohan. That's the reality of it. Okay, so just be ready to deal with that too. I'll also have your DeBoros in hand. All right, next video. Next we have Tapion, Hero Revive, and the present. The fact that you can combo cards from your drop during the battle is broken. Those Urutagons with them 16Ks and 19Ks attacks are going to be coming at you. Not only that, but when you combo, you could tap to uh, blue energy, play Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Wrath of the Dragon, and play and get rid of something in your barrier while having a Trunks unit set on field too to uh, boost up your field with more attacks. Not only that, but Tapion is a blue leader. If this Tapion leader was not around, I promise you it would have been, people would have been playing Ramku, Soul Striker, that that's yeah that's that's basically it but what i'm saying is this is that a tier zero deck keep in mind you have my full buzz you have the magics you have the uh the boo units i mean they have blue cards to tech into the deck but remember them comboing from the drop actually saves them a lot of life algorithm is probably your best option Oof, i'm passionate the homie the best friend one of my favorite leaders in this era of Zenkai, Son Goku, the Autonomous Awakening. Um, now, what's so amazing about this leader? It's just a great. It's one of the best young leaders up there. It's literally, it's, it's up there, right? And we we get draw power. We're able to awaken early. We're able to stack our hands, and but we get a lot of yellow cards. That's not really leader like that. We get a tech into the deck. Now, of course, we have Nimbus, Time Magic. We have the counterplay Vegito, right? If um, uh, your opponent has to put cards in rest mode, we do have the new Bardock, was that, which was created by Philip Turpini to slow your opponent down. And then, of course, we have old school cards coming back. Old school cards like the SS4 Dree Drop, Son Goku, when you have to tap another card in order to use an extra card. So we have a lot of tech in this particular deck, and we get the Overrun as well. And not, am I done? We get to also decide if you want to go aggro or defensive of mid right but the deck as a whole also gives you the ability to put cards in rest modes with the four drop and you can also burn your opponent now sally the card that we always use uh the one that's going for burn that the one that was for burn did get hit i know which one i'm talking about 
But yellow is still in a great spot. Oh, and Final Flash. And the two drop unison. It's just, we, we have a lot. Super Saiyan, Son Gohan, and Trunks. Meeting a new challenge. Uh, I, to be honest with you, the deck is so unique. It's very aggro. And it relies on the four drop uh, Gohan. It relies on the Trunks. It relies on the, the extra field card. But the deck is really good. Now, thankfully, a lot of these cards do not have barrier. But they can do early pressure and make your stuff on play. And one of the biggest secret rares that you want to be on the lookout for is the 8-drop SAR Vegito because they're able to overwhelm, get rid of a car, and hit you for a quadruple strike, I believe. But the deck um, has a lot of draw power. And you can also build up your, your field and also add text like the Baby Unison, the Fidel 2-drop, uh, uh, the Fidel a minus 2k counterplay and then you also are able to tag in the a lot of the stuff that does negging which will affect the field and also protect them to where they go for you for aggro and mind you they're not gonna always rely on the gohan and trunks they can rely on other big red hitters in the deck yeah so be ready for that red one because that red one is coming all right yes 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 the green leader yes Sell the ultimate life form. Cell is my brother. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Um, okay, so Cell has been <laughs> slowly coming back. It did uh it did top two events recently, and the new six drop cell card it is I think it's called Cell a new metamorphosis. That's literally you it's just it's a fifty dollar card you get when you participate in the online offline regional. But if you take that card in the deck, the, the sale deck is complete. Now, of course, we do have sales coming. I mean, how, like I mentioned earlier, we have, you know, of course, we Brian, you have the, the unisons. You also, but, you know, people are not really using the Super Saiyan 3 Vegito using it, unison. They're using the Super Saiyan Bardock unison because they go one shot some of the stuff that you combo. They, well, actually, it's once per turn, but they one shot it, right? Not only that, but you also, your leader gains you know crit for the turn and then of course green is overall good because you add the cell engine with the new stuff and then people are also taking the eight drop goku that tap for ko everything you know and barrier that's a one-time tech not only that you do have the solidarity um is i think it's solidarity dual the super saiyan 2 gohan and super saiyan goku father and son solidarity i think that's what it's called it's the eight drop that ko something on barrier um that card is actually good i'm surprised no one i don't want that card to get hit but what i'm saying that the card is good and they have texts like that so just have your hand ready because that deck most likely will be seen at this event yes android 21 i think android 21 will be seen i was told that android 21 can actually deal with yellow u7 goku however android 21 was not only top i was used by the real champion legends carrick but the deck is still playable it did get hit a little bit due to the pan one drop but however being able to tap up to three of your opponent's cards and even ignoring bear draw one card is still really good and of course they use hatch they use the uh, divine divinity they have a lot of strong blue support and then of course they're using cards on your field to play cards and just keep in mind that 21 is not dead it just it was just slowed down a little bit now if i think I'll say this again. If I think that deck was also hit, Soul Striker or Ram Cool still probably be a thing. But no, Tapion and, and Android 21 are still being played. 21 was actually it topped an event recently. So you look at that deck list, you don't see why. Well, that is it for my top seven deck predictions in Dragon Ball Supercard Game Masters for the upcoming regional event again, guys, in June. What are you guys' thoughts? Are you guys playing Jank? Are there any cards? The decks that y'all gonna play are y'all playing something that's not meta let me know in the comments below i'm having you seven have a great day and remember the lord loves you